Okay, we're supposed to find that this integral, this is a classic uh, differentiation uh, integration by parts. You have the integration by parts twice. Okay, keep that in mind. So it's a little long and a little messy. So let's start with the first one. Let's have u equal to e to the x, then du equal to ex dx. Okay, I'm writing, trying to write it small. dv here is equal to um, dx sine of x, so v is equal to minus cosine of x. So from integration by parts, the first one gives you, let's write it over here, so uv, ex times minus cosine of x minus v du, which is plus sine, so we have a dx over here, du here is um, ex cosine of x, it's a plus because it's a minus cosine over here. It doesn't look like it will accomplish that much, but if you do this by parts one more time, you'll have ex cosine x again, then we can move it to the other side. So let's do it again. Let's do our u equal to ex, so du is equal to ex dx, and dv becomes um, cosine of x dx, and v becomes a minus sine of x, because um, sine is cosine, um, Let's make sure cosine, sine is cosine. So I think I'm missing a sine here. Um, anyway, so let's see, let's put it back together. So this part is stays. So it's the ex, okay, and minus cosine x plus uv here, which is ex minus sine x minus plus this is plus sine here this is minus here so let me make sure so dv is cosine of x so v is equal to sine x because derivative of a sine is cosine okay so it's uv this is a plus sine then uv that's over here minus v du v is sine x, okay, du is ex to the dx. Okay, so this chunk appears on both sides. Let's see if we can squeeze it in there. The whole thing we were trying to find on this side is the dx over here, ex to the sine x. Okay, so sine x is here, sine x is here. Move this one over there, we have two dx ex sine x equal to okay once again there's a, there's a minus sign here there's one on this side what we're trying to find is on this side this two are identical so you move it over you have twice of this what you're trying to find is equal to ex let's pull it out so I have a sine x minus cosine x okay then one more step we're done so therefore, dx ex sine x is equal to half of ex sine x minus cosine x. Okay, hope this helps. Have a confident day.